Hi, I am Nalin, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I am going to show you how to troubleshoot when your Amazon Workspaces Windows Workspace is stuck in the starting, rebooting or stopping status. Let's get started. Verify your configuration settings when your Amazon Windows Workspace shows these status indicators. For example, your workspace might be pending updates. If the workspace's console or client sends a reboot command, then the workspace might be applying updates, which can take time. Wait up to 15 minutes and then try to connect again. Another reason might be that the workspace's required services are stopped or blocked. Let's check the status of required workspaces services. Use remote desktop protocol to connect to your workspace. For more information about how to connect to workspace personal with RDP, see the Knowledge Center article linked in the video description. Navigate to administrative tools and then choose services. Check if the Skylight workspace config service Service status is stopped. For PCOIP protocol workspaces, check PCOIP standard agent for Windows. For DCV workspaces, check DCV server and WSP adapter for DCV. If any of these services are stopped, then right click on the service and choose start. Make sure that the startup type for each service is set to automatic. If the services are still not running, then an antivirus software might be blocking them. To resolve this issue, set up an allow list for the workspaces component locations. If a required service is not installed, then reboot the workspace and wait 15 minutes. If a service still isn't installed, then open a support case. Another reason why you might get one of these statuses is because the management network interface is turned off. To check whether it is turned off, open the control panel, choose network and internet, and then choose network and sharing center. Make sure that view your active networks list two connections. If it lists only one, then change the adapter settings and turn on the Ethernet 3 connection. Finally, a security software such as antivirus proxy or VPN can block communication between your workspaces service backend and the workspaces management interface. To prevent this from happening, make sure that the AWS management network interface isn't monitored. Allow the folders listed in the required workspaces service components document. For more information, see the Knowledge Center article linked in the video description. If none of these troubleshooting steps work, then wait 15 minutes until the workspace status becomes unhealthy in the console. Then restart the workspace. Open the workspaces console. Select the workspaces personal. Choose unhealthy workspaces and reboot the workspaces. Wait 15 minutes for it to come back online, then try to connect again. So now you know how to troubleshoot when your Amazon Windows workspace is stuck in the starting, rebooting or stopping status. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.